Okay, so now a few things to keep in mind is that these A operator only works for the A, B, C phase sequence, right? And that totally makes sense from a visual perspective as well. It's only for the A, B, C phase sequence. But if you have an A, C, B phase sequence, these A operators are going to be different. So let's just go over that really quickly. So now we're not talking about ABC anymore. Now we're talking about ACB. What would we have to do with this phaser diagram? Well, to be an ACB phase sequence, we have to change that to IC, and then we have to change that to IB, right? Now this is an ACB phase sequence. Now we see that things are a little bit different, right? IA is still at zero degrees, but IB it's at 120 degrees with respect to the reference line. So IB, it's not negative anymore, it's just 120 degrees, right? And then IC, now we see that IC is at 120 degrees in the opposite direction. So now we have to add a negative sign there, which means the way that we've defined these guys here is going to be different. IA stays where it is, right? But look at IB now. IB, we only have to shift IA 120 degrees to get it equal to IB. So with IA, we only have to shift IA 120 degrees and we'll get IB. So we don't have that 2 anymore, right? And then same thing with IC, we have to shift it 240 degrees in the counterclockwise direction. 240 degrees. We have to shift IA 240 degrees in the counterclockwise direction, which means we have to use the A superscript 2 operator. So for an ABC system, the operator is that. But we, but this won't work for an ACB system. So what we have to do is we have to put a superscript 2 there, right? Now this totally makes sense. For an ACB phase sequence, this is how we have to define IB and IC with respect to IA using the A and A superscript 2 operators. Now I hope this wasn't too confusing but it's very intuitive once you see the big picture. Now if you find this video useful please go ahead and click on the bottom right corner of the screen to subscribe. In part 3 we're going to take this concept of the A operator and apply it to the positive and negative sequence components and then look at the benefits of it. This video was brought to you by GeneralPack.com, making power systems intuitive.